today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to do an unboxing and a quick look on a pedal manufacturer that we've talked about another pedal. Right. So Swindler Effects. So we did an episode on Swindler, Swindler Effects where we looked at the tremolo pedal, uh, the Red Mountain. And it was interesting because he contacted us. You had made a comment on a lack of bass response. Yeah. He contacted us, asked us for the serial number on the pedal. It turned out it was one of the very early pedals. Had to send the pedal back to him. Made the modification they had made after a very short period of time. Sent it back and had that bass response back. Meanwhile, uh, Drew, I believe it's Drew and I, started talking and sending some messages back and forth. And I said, you know, I want to check out some other stuff. And... Uh, we bought this pedal from him, but I mean, he he helped us out a little bit in the price just so we could get in and review it, um, which was awesome of Drew to work with us on that. Because we're supposed Especially to. after I made a mildly derogatory comment about his product. <laughs> right. I mean, it, an honest assessment. Right. Wasn't. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was interesting, and that turned out to be something they had already dressed and knew right. about. And right. so. Um, you street, can't. Street cred, right here. Yeah, and you can't. <laughs> can't fault a company that right. like reaches out to you and says hey let's fix it you yeah, know so I got a recall <laughs> that's awesome so this is swindler effects this is the golf i'm gonna put the box here it's cool and the side of it right. cool too it's all cool so there we go mm -hmm. swindler uh open the box maybe <laughs> right <laughs> more at, branding I mean, yeah look at that like on the inside cover open it up get a little Thing here it says, Swindler Effects is a small business located in Birmingham, Alabama. Since 2013, our goal has been to create effects pedals that are both sonically and aesthetically inspirational. So we got a little bit of packing material in there. I like this, right? Pull the pedal out. Has this nice little branded bag that it's in, and we also have. I think that's it. We have a card. For the latest instructional manuals, even has a little QR code there for so inclined to QR code it, and a Swindler Effects sticker. So I don't know. Their we, swag game is high. Their swag game is much <laughs> higher than the, we've seen from other people. Uh, What's so, the advantage of buying a new pedal? <laughs> right. Yes. I mean, we typically buy old, so people. Have pilfered, we do like the boxes. People have pilfered the stickers out of used effects, I guess. We're gonna plug this in real quick and drop this on our little. Homemade. Well, that doesn't matter. Color board. You got a little pop there. All right. So, this pedal, this is not a quick look. This pedal is packed with so many features. Uh, we want to do the pedal justice. So, I figured what we would do is let's forget about the features. Let's look, use it as just everyday run-of-the-mill chorus pedal. Um, and focus on that, run through some sounds, mm -hmm. and then come back and talk about the features a little bit. Okay. And play out. So we have, the first knob is your speed knob, so you have a knob that you can turn for speed control plus a tap tempo down here that sets that. Uh, next knob is the depth knob. The next knob is the blend, and so all the way to the left, you're... Dry signal, and then move it anywhere. Dry through chorus through uh, saturation. <laughs> All uh, the factor, mostly. Effect. What do you call it? Tremolo? Not tremolo. Um, oh, vibrato. vibrato. Right. Yeah. So okay. you're getting more like farther right. You go more to like a vibrato sound you would get. Uh, down here is an interesting knob. This is the depth knob. So what that's doing is spreading that wave out a little delay. bit. Delay, delay knob. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Delay <clears> knob, <throat> and it's spreading the wave out a little bit. If you think about it that way. Toggle switch in the middle, all the way to the left, is sine. So it has three different waveforms, sine all the way to the left, and the middle would be your triangle waveform. And then, interesting on a chorus pedal, because I don't think you see that very often, um, all the way to the right, you would have a square wave. So you see that a lot on tremolo pedals, you get that really choppy tremolo, but something different on chorus. And then a subdivision knob down here. And that's the, the basic controls. Of course, we have our bypass, turn it on, turn it off. A tap tempo over here, and then they have some secondary functions on those as well. We'll talk about it a little bit. Wow. Okay. Sounds. So right now you're going straight through this. There is a DM2 delay with just a tad of delay into a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe on the clean channel. 95 mm. PRS Custom 24. Dragon pickups. Pickups kind of hot. Uh, reference tone. 
Uh, the tuner's on. Tuner's on. So the hard chops are here, the delay. So it's there and a little reverb. We're not um, going to go completely dry, but we just want to let you know that's under it. So I guess starting with everything at 50? That's what we normally do. That's what we do. <laughs> so we'll start at 50, you play, and then I'll All right. twist some knobs. Okay. All right. Demo over, it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it sounds good right there. Right? Yeah, it's great. This, it's, yeah, it's 50, 50 straight up. Let's keep going. All right. Do you want to play while you're doing it? Yeah, go ahead and play and I'll twist some. Yeah. So you can hear it ramp down, right? Like yeah. that? With secondary functions. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Whatever you think, as we've just been going through this. Well, anytime you get that delay to the right, like you have it, um, and the blend. So maybe a little less blend, but yeah, I like that delay because it really spreads it out. Um, so, like, kind of a heavy depth and a heavy delay. Yeah. Everything I noticed about the lack of fullness before they adjusted that tremolo pedal, this has got it and more. This is fantastic. Like right. It's just huge. Again, we always talk about we don't know what it sounds like outside the room, but in here it's it's fat, it's huge, it's swirly. It's right, great. it's really, it's really nice. Uh, lush is the way I would describe this pedal. It's there's, really nice. There's a little bit of noise when we've yeah. been turning it on and off, but that is not, I don't think that's the pedal. I think that's the delay pedal and some of the stuff that we're going through. Mm -hmm. um, so just to be fair to, to Swindler on that, that noise, if you're here, if you picked up on that noise, that's not, that's not the pedal because with the secondary functions, we had to take a little look at it and make sure we understood it. Mm -hmm. And when we didn't have it plugged into that stuff, it was not a problem. Um, More of the in-depth features you want to Yeah, I think, I think we want to dive into those. So, Wow where to start <laughs> yeah so on the back of the pedal so first of all we have a, a mono in stereo out I'm running mo we're running mono out um on the back of the pedal there's two input jacks uh you would have the ability to put an external tap tempo on so on the tremolo pedal i have from them i do that uh something like a disaster area smart clock or whatever it's called um but you can run a cable over and it will send the tap to the pedal so if you want to link up your delay your chorus your tremolo and everything you can do that. You can also do an external favorite switch. So this pedal does have one favorite spot on it, and we'll talk about that. Uh, so external tap, external favorite. You can do MIDI through those jacks, and I believe you can. And you can also do expression. And the expression pedal would control the depth or the speed. 
So, I mean, right there, it's like, bam, wow, lots of features. Mm -hmm. That's not it. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. (laughs) So we said you can do a favorite. So, you also, we did the three sine waves. So let's talk about favorite. Like, if we were to get something a little crazier, we took the delay. Like, I was trying to find more of a uh, kind of almost Leslie-ish sound Mm -hmm. earlier. So if you take the delay back and kind of bring that sound wave back together, I think you get more in that kind of Leslie-ish, so to speak. Or at least her sister. It's not actually Leslie. And we're going to speed that up. And a lot of depth. And maybe... What's that? Give it... So let's say we really like that sound and we want to save that as our favorite. And we do. (laughs) Yeah. It's a favorite. So if I hit these two buttons and hold them, hold them for a couple seconds, when I let go, you see that middle LED flash. So that's been saved. Yep. So now, if you're playing. We got to go back to like more of what we had before. And I think that was more like that, right? So now we're back to kind of like more what we had before. That's what's on. And then as he starts playing, if I hit and hold down the uh, tap tempo button or the bypass button, uh, it will switch over to the favorite. Okay. So, that's the favorite setting. And I mean, really easy to do. Push two, get, get the setting you want, push two down, save it, go back and then get what you want on the other one. And then just go back and forth. Hold that down for a second or so. It pops in that middle LED, you know you're on the favorite. Hold it down again, you're off. Uh, one thing we didn't do when we ran through the sounds was run through the difference between the sine triangle and the square wave. So okay. we should probably do that. And I think the setting we have right now would be pretty good for that, right? Yeah. I put a heavy, you know, heavy depth on that, so mm-hmm. it would be apparent. You can really hear the difference, yeah. <clears throat> right, so you have all the way to the left assigned middle's triangle wave, and then square wave. All right, so the other kind of in-depth, uh, and maybe we'll come back to this pedal at some point, because there is more. We could get into the expression pedals. I think you can open it up, and there's actually an internal trim pot. We can change the tone of the pedal a little bit, too. Uh, a lot of times with that, I assume that the guy making it has picked right. kind of that 
sweet spot. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily mess with that. I'm almost afraid to mess with that sometimes, especially if I like it out of the box. Yeah. Like if I like it out of the box, why am I going to turn that and get to something I never get back to? So um, the other thing to talk about is the ramp feature. And so you can do how, how to explore this on camera fast, I guess is the question, right? Fast forward. So if you push down this button and hold it, you will see it slow down. Do we record? We don't even need to hit record at this point. Okay. Yeah, and then if we push it and hold it again, you will see it start to speed up. And it's set pretty slow, so it might take a second. Yeah. So that is one option. Press and hold the button, it slows down. Press it again, it speeds up. Press it again, it slows down. Another option, if we press and hold this button, and we switch this toggle to the left. So since it was at the left, I had to move it to the middle. Move it back. Middle LED blinked. Now, if we press and hold, it should slow down. But when I let go, it will go back to the normal speed. And then if we press and hold the button and move it to the all the way to the right, if we press and hold, it will speed up, let go, back to normal speed. So the middle one alternates, and that's kind of cool. I think I would be either on the slow down or speed. Actually, I think I'd be on the slow, slow down because I love with the Leslie when you yeah. hit the brake and you, like when you hit a big chord, the Leslie's going, you hit the brake and it just kind of winds down. Mm -hmm. And then if you take your foot off, it kind of speeds back up. That's really cool. Uh, that's a really nice touch. Uh, do you want to, let's, let's show that with a slowing down. So we'll start with this kind of fast. Is that good? That's really cool. And you can do that speeding up and back to normal, mm -hmm. or you can just alternate between the two. Yeah, to fade the, out of a song or something, you're just like letting it just kind of... The other thing you can do, like that took a while to happen, so we <clears> could <throat> hold that knob down and then adjust the speed. And as we adjust the speed knob, that's going to change how fast... So just give a big chord. With volume. With volume? With volume. Yeah. <laughs> So we have that on a really fast setting right now. Right. That it, it hits that pretty... And I think I would probably... Back that off just a little bit. Can we try it once? Mm -hmm. With volume, right? Yeah, big chord. <laughs> You should have a white lab coat on because I right. don't. Tell it's you. like, but it's not. I mean, it's not hard to figure out. It's not hard to figure out. So, we have three waveforms: sine, triangle, square wave. We have uh, the ability to save a favorite, the ramping features. You have the external controls if you want an external tap or expression pedal or favorite switch. Blah blah blah. MIDI control, and I think that about hits it. Right? That's what we want to do. Except for maybe just playing it a little bit. Yeah. So let me plug in my guitar. My guitar. 
What do you think? Um, let me just check where we're at. And then what's our favorite look like? No. Nope. Oh, I just saved it. <laughs> You're like me with a jitter looper. Right. All right, so when we went to check it, I hit the wrong button. And then so it just took some a minute, fixed that, cut out some stuff there. Uh, but we're back. And so I think what we're going to do is we have it set up with uh, just a regular chorus sound, something more, I don't want to say Leslie-ish, but something more Leslie-ish. Um, something that taps into the vibrato nature of this pedal. Right. Gets the... And then... Have it set up so we can break it. So if we hit hold the uh, tap button, it will slow down. Let go, it goes back to where it was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to play it. So with that, um, please subscribe. I hope there's going to see... We're, oh my gosh. Jeez. What he said. What I said. Please subscribe. I hope we're going to see more from Swindler. Mm -hmm. They're doing some awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you really should check out their pedals. We're talking... I don't know if we mentioned it, and it has to be mentioned... This is an analog bucket brigade kind of, mm -hmm. you know, analog chip chorus pedal um, with digital control. And there's a lot of control there. And I, I think features that I would use, we talk about <laughs> all the time, we buy stuff with a lot of features and we never, right. never touch them. So, yeah, so subscribe, uh, like, and leave a comment. Let us know what you think of the Swindler Effect. If you've tried any of the other pedals, or what pedal of theirs you might like to try or see us try. That'd be cool. All right. And with that, I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. <laughs>